Man to man, what is one sentence a woman told you that is still stuck in your head until this day? If you don't like what I'm doing please tell me. If you don't tell me you'll end up despising me. I told my senior year prom date that I loved her at the end of the night. She said that must be hard. If you saw yourself the way I see you, you'd never be insecure about anything ever again. That got to me big time. Respectfully, you look very handsome. Definitely wasn't tried to hit on me as they were recently married, but damn did it feel good. On a more positive note, one time this girl at the pizza place I'd been going to, told me I had beautiful eyebrows and I'll never forget that. As we were breaking up she looked me in the eyes crying and smiling then said sober looks the best on you gave me our last kiss and then she was gone. I was sitting outside of an airport waiting for my brother to pick me up. This strikingly beautiful woman ended up sitting near me while on her phone just having a casual conversation. About a minute into it, with this charming southern voice well hell if I know where I am, I'm under a sign that says baggage claim, so in baggage come claim me. Needless to say that in spite of my attempts to hide my laughter by burying my face in my book I hear her half giggling saying, oh I see you over there laughing at me, mister. It was just a wonderful random interaction. When I held the door open to a mother and her daughter. She the mother asked if I was single. And I said yes. She responded with I'm too handsome to be single. Made my year. I want to find someone that has your that is more attractive. You're too innocent. My first wife, an alcoholic, when she decided to drunkenly finally tell me why she drinks during the day while I'm at work and she's supposed to be watching the kids to spite you. And the kids. My second wife, a covert narcissist, when she caught me deleting texts to a therapist and I refused to tell her what it was about you violated the sanctity of our marriage, you fucking piece of shit. Neither of us are religious. My current girlfriend on dating me you are all of my birthday wishes come true. You'll make a great dad one day. My ex a few months before she dumped me. I don't know if I want to be in this relationship anymore. I fucking adore you. My wife said it, it's way harder than I love you. Not sure why, but I love it. 1985, Senior Kindergarten. We were using little Crayola scissors to make paper snowflakes. I unfolded my snowflake and it all fell apart. I couldn't understand what I did wrong. I showed the teacher, and she said well, I wonder why. I also wondered why. I was seven years old, but I wasn't stupid. I understood sarcasm when I heard it. Was absolutely furious. Still mad at her decades later. You're starting to act more and more like your dad. You do realize we want to keep you right? My best friend's girlfriend when I was in a phase of depression and heavy drug abuse. Probably saved my life. I thought nobody cared about me and if even I myself don't care about me, I might as well fuck up my body for some pain relief and fun. I keep all compliments, how sparse they are in a vault. No one will want to be with you and you will be alone my mother. A woman I was seeing opened up to me and said my grandfather molested me from a young age and family members knew nothing was done because he had money. You can't make me want to be with you said by the woman I was married to during her affair. That sentence alone was the push I needed to end my codependency. It was just like one day a switch flipped and all of a sudden she didn't want to be around me anymore. It fucked me up pretty bad for a while. I tried desperately to win back her affection, but to no avail. Ultimately I learned that I wasn't the problem, her boyfriend was. I can't love you the way you want to be loved. I would really like to fuck you. Said sincerely by a drunk woman at a party, like ten years ago. I've been seduced, but never to that level of openness. Think about it often. You aren't who I thought you were. You don't deserve to have a family. Nobody will ever love you. This was not long after I received a paternity test result that showed a zero match to my three-month-old daughter. I'd give anything to unhear that shit. 
Can I borrow your copy of Die Hard? My wife after our first date. Didn't tell me directly, but overheard a former crush say about me, dot yeah, he's rather ugly. That one pops up from time to time lol. This isn't working for me, but you will always hold a special place in my heart, you were the best thing to ever happen to me. It's been about three years, I still catch myself thinking about her at least a few times a week. Single since, have no desire to date anymore. You're the definition of husband material. A good friend of mine told me that, and her friend agreed. I was obviously quite flattered when I heard it, but I wasn't romantically interested in either of them. That compliment gave me a huge confidence boost in my dating life though. I always knew you would be a great father. My ex-girlfriend of five years told me this after we broke up. She was my first love and if life didn't rip us apart I would have died happy with her. She told me this years later after I met someone else and had two daughters. Both makes me proud and sad but I think about it a lot. I don't love you anymore. After she admitted to cheating on me, I asked why, she responded with, it is what it is. What the fuck kind of answer is that? I'm not that well endowed and when a girl pulled down my pants she said what the hell am I supposed to do with that? Almost 15 years later I think about it every time I have sex. It hurts. Loudly crying face. She left me and I had an industrial accident at work. Laceration to my left forearm. Lots of rehab and fun stuff. I wouldn't give her money outside of what she got in child support so she decided I was a fucking gimp. Coldest shit anyone that's ever said I love you to me has said. I'll make sure she grows up to hate you. You were never home and I was lonely, said to me by my ex-fiancé after I caught her being railed by my then ex-best friend. Honey, I am afraid. Her last words before they put her under for an emergency C-section. Neither she or our son survived. After reading some comments I realize that some people are really wild out there. Take care of yourself and your heart's your. You'll never be enough for anyone. One of my exes from about 10 years ago told me I was gonna die old and alone. My sister said. You are ugly, disgusting and deserve to be alone forever. Crushed my self-esteem. You won't graduate college. I had a teacher say this to me. On graduation day from my college I sent her a message on Facebook of me in my robes and I just said fuck you. Sorry, I don't consider Asians to be real men. I wasn't even trying to chat her up, was just trying to move past her at a bar. This will get lost in the thousands of comments but I want to leave mine. Some years ago I was depressed and antisocial and didn't feel like leaving my home ever. One day a friend asked me if I wanted to hang out with her and her friends. I naturally said no because I wasn't feeling like it. She said of course you feel like it. You just don't know it yet. That sentence stuck with me ever since and I use it as motivation to try out new things. We have been dating for three and a half years. If you love me enough, I wouldn't have to sleep with other people. After reading through half of these, I am sorry you all fine folks had to hear this sort of shit from someone. Fellow gents, take care of yourself mental, physical, and emotional. I'm here to chat both if you need. I've made a mistake you need to accept it. You have too much baggage. Said to me by then girlfriend after I opened up by her prompting in the aftermath of a dead mother and supporting my sister. I got dumped a week later. That one taught me a valuable lesson that took me a few more times to learn. So it's not still stuck, but early on in my relationship my wife had said before you, I had a high sex drive. That hit me like a ton of bricks for a long time. Turned out it was just her birth control that took it away.